press control s to save your program write your class name hello world now whatever class name you are going to give every word so say for example if you are writing hello world without any capital letters in the starting alphabets of each word then that will be wrong that is a very bad programming experience so what will you do hello this is one word and it's h is capital the first letter and then second word and its w also should be capital now every program that you are about to do it should be saved with a dot java extension file on sublime text when you do that and you press enter you don't have permission to save this location okay what are those that was a simple dot java okay now over here it is written java at first it was saved as plain text but now it is java so let's start so any program that you start always enter class most people what they do they might try to do is public class that's according to your preference i would prefer to as class now why do they write public class because they want the class to be public it can be accessed by anyone but i prefer class so class mention the class name hello world no spaces and each first letter of the first or many words it should be in capital letter then curly braces open enter it has already automatically saved a closed curly braces most ides integrated development env environment what they do is if you enter curly braces they will not mention a closed curly braces such as blue j so you have to enter it on your own now i can enter public static void main public static void main string arguments now over here public means that the class is accessible by anyone or the program the code that you are about to write in these so any code that you write the block of code is always saved within these braces curly braces open from open curly braces to close curly braces okay public means the block of code can be accessed by anyone static means that this program that you are about to execute it will remain in its in its original form no duplication of this program will be formed this will be the original form void means the program does not return a value main is a method which you have to write in every program string arguments is basically a parameter inside main so whatever you write so say for example that you can take any method so say for example let's take main main and bracket open this is known as a method with any brackets open in front of it anything you write inside it say for example a c b d anything that will be considered as a parameter that is written inside these round brackets okay so we do not need this string arguments and whatever block of code that you are about to write it will it will be saved within these curly braces then there will be a package system dot dot print line quotes now anything that you want any sentence any word anything any alphabet if you want it to be printed in the terminal window where the compilation will show you what outcome is of the program you could refer to this package system dot out dot print line or print print ln if you want to print a sentence now over here i want to print hello world now for me i want this hello world to be displayed on the terminal window so you could refer to the system dot out dot print ln package and every statement that you write within these curly braces should always be terminated with a semicolon okay so i'll save i'll select the whole program press control s it would be advisable that every program that you do select the whole program and keep saving at that regular intervals once you have saved it will be a notice it will be a cross here but when i press space it will be a circle that means the program is already saved 
So many IDEs, when you compile the program below, or they'll show you a new terminal window about the outcome of your program, but not in Notepad. It is a different approach whatsoever. So go to CMD. Oh, sorry. So go. So for compiling this program, what I'll do is I'll go to the search bar. I'll type command prompt CMD, only CMD, press enter. And then what you have to do is you have to locate where your folder is stored. So my folder Java programs, which is displayed over here, is stored in the D drive. Then you have to type CD and your Java name, your Java folder name, which is Java programs in my case. Make sure that no alphabet is extra or there is, because the command prompt is case sensitive as Java. So all you have to do is you have to enter CD, your Java folder name, and make sure there is no spelling error. Press enter, then type DIR, which is directory. You have to locate your folder in that directory. Press enter. Now type Java C. Why Java C? Because it is Java compiler. Press space. Now enter your class name, which is hello world. No spaces. And mention the class with the dot java extension now press enter if there is no comp there's no if there's no syntax error it will display it as follows but if is there if there is any syntax error in this program it will display it over here so say for example if you have written java c hello world dot java and there is any error it will display it over here now there is no compilation error. So I will type Java again, but only Java, not Java C. Java, the class name, hello world, and only hello world without the dot Java extension file. Press enter. And therefore you have the program output, hello world. So that is the way how you write it in Sublime Notepad. So that brings us to the end of this long, boring, but productive video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Now, this platform link, it will, the link is provided in the description below. Click on the link and it will direct you to the page where you can download this platform. See you in next video. Take care. Bye.